Hi Libra, welcome to this reading, I hope this reading finds you well. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your donations, your personal reading requests and your comments. If you like the video, leave a like. And if you don't like the video, well, don't worry about it. So this reading is a monthly reading for April for you. I'm going to pull you three Prism Oracle cards to get us going. One more shuffle. Okay, I'm sort of getting a detox message coming through. Oh, okay. Well, that's good to see. Well, that's interesting. Because the way that card shot out there, I mean, this is the card that landed first, Abundance. It's got that Ten of Pentacles vibe about it. Abundance, definitely talking about money. But abundance in everything, work, career, social, love. Gemini had this card, the Anxiety card. Now that's interesting, because Gemini also had the Ten of Pentacles in their tarot spread. So, not unusually, there seems to be a thread running through the signs. The same elements of the signs. Faith. So your faith is going to help you deal with your anxiety. Ooh. Anxious in your faith. Starting to become a non-believer. Interesting. Faith is really important. Faith. The most important faith to have is faith in yourself. Faith in the choices that you've made. You are always where you are meant to be. Even if it seems that you've made tons of life choices that have led to mistakes. Um, a situation just popped into my mind there. I'm not going to say that. Um, but yes, sometimes you might find yourself with a tricky person who's trying to convince you that, well, your life is the way it is because of the choices you've made. Now, that's a true statement. Now, it is true. We create our reality. We make our choices. We create our life. But there are some things that are destined as well. There is destiny. There is fate. And the two things sort of weave together like this. So if something is fated... If something is your destiny, no matter what choices you make, it is the path. You can't actually make the wrong choice. Because you are always where you are meant to be. The universe is very magical like that. Okay, let's crack onto your tarot cards. And let's see what's coming for you, Libra. Well, that one definitely wanted to come out. Ooh, the moon. So emotional intuition also keep going see this path it's very clear on this card in this deck this is a lobster and this lobster is going to go all the way down this path so we could be talking about a pisces a cancer a scorpio potentially i mean the moon is the ruler of pisces i'm not actually picking that up but i just wanted to wanted to tell you Um, yeah, it's a full moon right now when I'm doing it, even though it's daytime. I think the clouds are hiding it, but it is, it is rising during the daytime at this current course in the phase, in the tra trajectory. Um, what is it? It's, uh, it's early afternoon. Um, I've already done four or five readings today. Um, I was up really late last night doing readings and working on things. 
Anyway, that's about me. More about you, little boy. So I'm looking for it. Can't quite see it at the minute, but it's jumping out at me. We are in the middle of a full moon phase and the moon has come out first to you, so... Hmm, maybe your moon sign is Pisces. Wake up call. So this new moon energy is going to bring you in a wake up call. About something that you're doing or something that you're not doing. Queen of Cups, more water energy. And exactly the same message as I started. You, I don't think you're trusting your emotions your emotional intuition. There is instinctive sixth sense intuition. There is gut intuition. There is emotional intuition. There is logical intuition. The best intuitive place to be, to receive downloads, is to be in all of those zones. Work with all of them. Mm. And you will be, oh, 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 oh. And you will be happy, make a wish. Nine of Cups, make a wish. The Wish card. Something is dead, done and over with. This card came out at exactly the same time. Okay, so this is why sometimes it's good to get all the cards out first and look at the reading as a whole, rather than talking of each one as they arrive. I, li I, li I like doing both, though. I, I just roll with it um but because now it looks like this could mean that something is dead done and over with with a pisces pisces or a cancer or a scorpio i know that's a contradiction to what i said but both messages can be relevant there's more than one person watching Death card, a transition. So you've got the Ten of Swords and then the Death card. So that really is a case of something being dead, done and over with. And I think it's anxiety. I'm not picking up that it's your faith. I think your faith is going to help you pull through this situation. Mm-hmm. And it's left you in a bit of a negative mindset. That's why the anxiety card is showing up. Remember that this card tells us to... One of the messages is stop crying over spilt milk. Don't worry about what was in these three cups. Look at what is in these two cups. Because if you turn around and see these cups, you can see that there's a bridge that leads to a castle. So just like the Five of Pentacles, this does have a reversal of fortune vibe to it. The opportunity to turn things around. It's coming underneath the moon card. Wow, this is coming underneath the judgment card. So wake up to the love. The love of yourself is actually the message I'm getting. Can't wait to see what comes next. Sorry if you can hear the chair squeaking. It gets like that. Queen of Wands. So possibly a fire sign coming in. Also, Gemini had something about a fire sign coming in and you have manifested this. So away from a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio towards an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They just could have these elements strongly in their placements. In some of their houses, um, you know, don't get stuck on the signs. Now, the Wheel of Fortune here, coming after the Magician, you have manifested this good luck. And you have been anxious about bad luck. But also, that person is getting their karma. That person, whoever it was... Now, I'm not picking up that they... That they treated you really badly, but it was something to do with money. They were after money in some way. 
Now on this devil energy, I'm not actually picking up the just don't be spending your money on things that you don't need. That's what I'm actually getting told to tell you. Because this was the third, first card out, Abundance. So I get the feeling I get the feeling that money isn't a problem for you, but your anxiety and your faith has been. Okay? Okay, so don't let this energy suck you dry, is the message I'm being told to tell you. Okay, Libra, thanks for being here. Peace be the journey. Click. Mm-hmm.